Hi there, Ken from Oz here, and this video is going to show you just an improvement I've made with my iPad Mini 4. So it actually looks like a MacBook or a notebook, and you can see here that I've actually got control of the screen using a mouse. So I'm really excited about how I did this, and I'm going to share it with you. So hang on, and we will find out how to turn your iPad Mini or regular iPad into a working pseudo MacBook. So first of all I'm going to talk about what you need. Now this is an update for my iPad Mini 4 and uh, it can be done on other iPads so I suggest you can check out the link below for other YouTube videos or contact Apple for the update. You'll need a uh, Bluetooth keyboard which I bought from eBay for around $31 which fits specifically to the iPad mini 4 it just opens it's quite slimline and it is uh, rechargeable and of course a small mouse now I went for a slimline mouse and this is a Logitech slimline mouse which I bought at Officeworks in Australia for $38 you can get cheaper ones of course it needs to be a Bluetooth one this one has a dual Bluetooth and USB connection so um, and that's all you need so uh, let's begin so the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got the latest upgrade of the iOS so in this case I've got the iPad OS 13 which is the latest one released in 2019 for the iPad Mini 4 and for most of the other later model iPads. If you've got an earlier model iPad, you might need to just check that you can actually do this. All right, so to uh, link up your mouse, make sure it's a Bluetooth mouse, go to settings, scroll down and go to accessibility and scroll to touch now i've already got this set up and then go to assisted assistive touch which is up the top and it should be on and if you scroll down you'll notice that the new upgrade will have a whole lot of new menu items at the very bottom and one of those will be for devices and then Bluetooth devices and you can see that my Logitech Pebble has already been connected but go to Bluetooth devices and basically just connect up to Bluetooth and it's as simple as that so if you can see I've got my mouse here and I turn it on and you'll notice that already it starts to have this small little cursor which moves around and if you click it so if you want to go back to accessibility and so on um, right click gives you a main menu which can go back to home which it does like that and there it is it's as simple as that so now I've got a mouse connected to my iPad screen so if I wanted to go to a uh, program such as that click if I want to scroll so let's uh, try another uh, program let's go to Safari and it's just normal mouse um, basic mouse uh, things you can scroll up using the mouse and down and of course you can take over at any time with your uh, finger so that basically the mouse cursor acts just like a finger so you can swipe and so on but it has these neat little features if you right click you can uh, then go to the home which goes back to the main screen home again and a whole range of other things which I won't go into in this video so now you've got the mouse connected up to the Bluetooth keyboard and you have got yourself a small pseudo Mac iPad mini 4 so the next step now is just to put it all together so with your iPad keyboard 
we just need to connect it in. It basically just slips in very quickly. Now the Bluetooth, if you set this up properly, will connect automatically to the iPad. And I've just got to look at my angles here a little bit. I won't go into it and also the glare, but you can now see that the iPad will work quite successfully. If I go into say docs, I can type away and use the mouse and let's say create a new one such as that and right and you can start typing away now we don't need the keyboard on screen but it just types away and as you can see whoops bring it up just the keyboard works and of course if I don't want that I can just use the mouse to highlight oops and depending on where I want to click and use the function just like a normal iPad so very simple solution I'm really excited about this and to have now a small functioning mini pseudo MacBook which I can slip into my bag and take anywhere and use an ordinary keyboard and at any time and the beauty about all of this is at any time you can take over with the touch screen um, with the typing and just take the iPad out if you need it so a little bit of a find this is Kent from I was saying have a go all up it's a little bit cheap so it cost me $70 for the keyboard and for the mouse and the upgrade was just standard with my iPad system. So thanks for watching. See you next time.